understand okay sir yes any question front sir f pe nahi jayega front f pe nahi jayega sir here we uh, in this uh, ppt here it will take it will take a jump because front is not go to the any new node so it is take a jump and uh, finally they got the sequence but that is why when we explain that that time i told you that is uh, during the when we come into the if because right now e is in the front position so uh, we have to consider from e where we can move so from e we can move c and f but c is already into the visited list okay so that means we have to ignore that and there are some a is not new element because f is already present into the queue data structure so we will not insert any new new element or new node into the queue okay first of all and there of that we have to remove this e and this remove means the e will be come into the visited array or visited list and there after front will be taken obviously during the remove or delete uh, operation front will increment its value and that time front and rear will become into the f position and same again we have to consider that time we i already discussed this that is that time again we have to consider from f where we can move that is from f we can move e and d and both is already into the visited array here is here the uh, ppt we take a jump because no new element from e and f no new element will insert this queue so we take two delete operation here but actually the process is same from f again we consider that is we can move d and e but d and e both is in the visited list so no new element will be inserted but the f will be removed from the queue so after remove f will be insert into the visited array or visited list and then all the node is already deleted right now the queue is empty according to the rule that is uh repeat 4 and 5 until the queue gets empty so right now queue is empty that means that is over the process is over and six out of six all the node is already into the visited array or visited list okay so we can say that a b c d e all the six node is already visited so we if we visited all the nodes that, that means traversing is completed is not it so we, this is already we, we talk you if you miss i think you are miss that particular position okay next uh this is the program um, this is not necessary and there after this is dfs so again just uh, basic thing is already discussed so i just recall it that is dfs stand for def first search dfs stands for def first search dfs is an algorithm for traversing or searching a tree or graph data structure it uses a stack data structure for implementation so here is the rule is coming from the stack basically that is a, that is leaf for rule now in dfs one starts at the root and explores as as far as possibly along each branches before backtracking so dfs is depend on the backtracking what is the backtracking system now that is the algorithm initially all the node Thank <laughs> you. 
sorry for the noise okay so algorithm of dfs initially all equals to 1 that is the ready state okay now put starting node in the stack and changes the status of data equals to 2 as a waiting state and the loop repeat same 4 and 5 until the stack get empty so this time the stack will be empty when the stack will be empty and our our process will be completed and what is the uh, um, procedure within the loop that is first remove top node remove top node that time in uh, bfs we remove the font position and the as far as the rule of stack we have to remove from the top that is why remove top node in from stack process them and change the status of n process status that means when we remove the stack node uh, top positions node and before we move we have to think consider that is from that node we can move how many node and all that node if the, there's a, from that those node from those node any new node will be inserted or that means the pushed into the stack so before push obviously you have to remove the topmost node and new new node will be pushed into the stack now this is the process that is add all the neighbors of n that means from n where we can reach or we can move those are the neighbors all the neighbors to the top of the stack and change the status of uh, to waiting state 2 that means uh, all those are those new node is under the status equals to one that is the ready state and after the push into the stack all those nodes will be changed into status equals to two okay so now the process working of dfs and what is the process so first time again we will start from a which we consider that is a is the first element and it during this session all this six node is ready ready state okay and now we consider as a is the first node and we will push into the stack so when we push it will come into the lower lower position or the first position okay right now this is the top position now we have to consider from a we can move b and c okay so now after that a before to remove uh, uh, at, at that moment we have to remove the element from the top position so a will be removed and b and c will be pushed into this stack so you can uh, implement is like b first b will push into the stack then c will push into the stack so that time c will be is at top position and if you choose the reverse so b will be is at top position so whatever this two sequence both are right okay only the sequence of visit or sequence of traversing will be changed but answer is still right okay so don't go for the sequence because any sequence of a b c d e is right if you follow the rule of stack that is lifo rule and topmost will be always top node will be removed and when we in push element that will be as as far as the lifo rule okay so now we have to push b and c so suppose the sequence is first we insert uh, push c then we insert c, b so right now b is in the top position so um, during the remove after the remove a will be come into the remove remove list okay so thereafter we have to consider the b node because right now b is in the top position so from b where we can move that is a and d and same a is already in into the visited node or visit uh, sorry visited array or visited list so a will be ignored and new node d will be pushed okay so before push b will be removed from the stack because because the rule of pop operation 
rule of pop operation that should be always pop the topmost value so topmost value that is b will be pop out and store into the visited array or visited list so right now a and b is visited and new element d will be post okay so d will be post that means d will come over the c so right now who is the topmost value that is d is the topmost value so again we have to consider from the d so from d we can move b and f and because of b is already visited 